Hello, my name is Regina Dewsbury. When I was younger, I was an air hostess on the coaches. I worked in the heyday of coach travel, the 1960s and 70s. For decades, coaches had been the choice for the well-heeled minor royals, dukes and duchesses, that one related to the queen who had a camera, stars of big and small screen. They travelled with us so regularly, I got to know many of them on a first-name basis. Little and large, Morecambe and Wise, Sooty and Sweep. Couples liked coaches because they could sit together in reclining seats. You must remember, there were innocent days back then. This was the days before portable televisions and mobile phones, so we made our own entertainment. On those long journeys up and down the A1, the alcohol would flow and we'd break into a sing-song. We all loved a good knees-up. And a lot of those singers, who became very well known, extended their repertoire on the back seat of a coach with Regina. I taught David Essex a thing or two, I can tell you. And I'll tell you this for nothing, he's not a real gypsy. The names I could reel off. The Osmond brothers, they travelled with us quite regularly. Pink Floyd. The Rolling Stones. Oh, yes. Mick Jagger once told me that he'd written Honky Tonk Woman about a certain air hostess on the coaches. And how fondly I remember having all three of the goodies singing Funky Gibbon to me. <laughs> Bill Oddy wasn't so curmudgeonly in those days, but let's say he was always a bird fancier. The Wombles, I had them wombling free on a coach journey once. Surprisingly, I had to tell them, pick up that litter, you furry bunch of gerbils, or whatever it was they were supposed to be. <laughs> oh, they, they kept dropping discarded cans of beer on the floor, and I wasn't having it. No, a tidy mind, a tidy coach. I'm honoured to say that I've got myself a Blue Peter badge. That was because on a few occasions we would take the presenters up north to do one of their collecting tin cans or whatever it was appeals. They would take the appeal around the country and Regina was always on hand to help them collect all the little tin foil bits that they would turn into hospitals for African children. And you must remember, this was years ahead of Live Id.